Well, they even took away phonics, where you've got to look at a word and then remember it. They know that doesn't work. They got rid of what worked by design. I mean, I've got stuff from 1898 by the U.S. Banking Association saying we've got to take over education and dumb them down. Too many people are reading. I mean, you try to read a newspaper from 200 years ago, yeah. I can't even read it. No, I mean, they have literally you turned you us. Great, uh, Alex, I was, I was going to talk to people later. My website, I told them that, deliberatedummingdown.com. But at americandeception.com, you were just talking about something interesting, made me think of it. There is a uh, an incredible test, and I'm trying to think of the name. Oh, I, can't, I wish I could remember that test. Uh, oh, Kenneth, Kenneth, uh, uh, oh, Higley, uh, Oh, gosh. It'll pop in your head in a minute. Well, the point well, is. But it's a test in 1953 in Central California. And it is unbelievable. It's up on the website. And uh, it's uh, Hignite is the name. Now, folks, if you write anything down today, write this down. Because I consider this is the proof that you can take out and show people. The name is Kenny Hignite, H-I-G-N-I-T-E. You type that into the search engine at americandeception.com. You're going to see an eight or ten page test on the Constitution. Kenny had not got 99 on it, I think. Excellent A plus or something. That test, it's all in his own handwriting. Someone gave me this test when I was speaking somewhere, and it's all in his own handwriting. He felt his handwriting's not that good, but boy, is he smart. Now, a lot of people say, oh, he's a genius. No wonder. I, well, that has nothing to do with it. This is what was expected of American public school students in 1953 in Central California. They had to know the Bill of Rights. They had to know all the Supreme Court justices by name. They had to know every, the, the division of powers, all the different divisions of government, uh, you name it, uh, everything. Uh, the Constitution, uh, term limits, you know, whatever. Go and look at that. Kenny Hignite. This is for people who will say to you, look and say, well, I'm, I think my children, you know, seem to be really doing very well. And you know what? The point is, it's not your children. I would say, I'm dumb. I'm, I'm dumb myself. I couldn't pass that test. So there's no question that this has been a deliberate Thing. Now, the other thing, which is the reason we started the American Deception website, that now has 150,000 pages hand-scanned of original documents. My son did this. I don't know how he ever did it. Uh, on that website, and it, they deal with religion, the occult, tremendous amount of education documents, tremendous documents in World War II showing all sorts of things none of us knew, World War I, the, the unbelievable website. But the, the one document that I, I bought, uh, there was one left, uh, is uh, the uh, congressional record, the, the hearings on the tax-exempt foundations in 1953 that were abruptly shut down by the Eisenhower administration and others, of course. And uh, this is the Norman Dodd story, because he was the research director. These are the, the congressional hearings investigating the tax-exempt foundations. 3,000 pages. I paid $3,000, okay, for them. Now, I understand that the person I bought them from, he was offered any amount to get that one copy. Any amount. This was 20 years ago. One of the minions in the foundations came and said, I, we will pay you anything you want for that. Now, folks, that's available to you on that website, americandeception.com. You will find out how the tax exempt foundations have taken your country from you for their own purposes. Well, for those that don't know, I want to back you up. Uh, here and uh, actually uh, read coming up after the break uh, the actual uh, quote by Carol Quigley. But it's simple. You've got less than 20 robber baron families. And uh, over 110 years ago, they publicly got together and said, we've got to, through government, take over society and vertically integrate society. And they had the Jekyll Island meeting in Georgia. They took over our monetary system. And they have turned us into basically the equivalent of retarded monkeys. And for those of us that can still think 
Uh, Charlotte, how do we reach out to people who literally don't even know what town they're in? Uh, I mean, I mean, you see the people, even yuppies that have decent jobs, they think it's cool to be stupid. Well, I think we really are, you know, we're, we're in major trouble. And I was joking with one of your guys there when I said, I, I'm so, uh, you know, I, I've seen so much of this horrible stuff that my brain is numb, huh? And I think a, a lot of us feel that way. So I said, we're all really quite numb now. And everybody else is dumb. So who's number and who's dumber? I mean, the people who've done the research and have been screaming and yelling and speaking like myself and you, Alex, all over the place, thank God for you. Uh, don't you sometimes, Alex, when you open up your, your Internet and your emails, don't you look at it and feel numb? Uh, you know yeah. I mean? just numb. Well, I'm, sometimes I get numb. More often, I get absolutely outraged. But, well, but I used to, you know, I'm, I've got, I used to be in the outrage thing. Now I'm into numb. And I hear you, I Charlotte. Thought, well, I'm numb. Got a break. Stay right there. We're going to come back. Got two more segments with you. Then I'm getting the big sis. She's taking over the whole country. Hi, this is Alex Jones. Did you know that the global elite are now storing non-hybrid seeds in secret storage vaults near the Arctic Circle? Did you know that in a real meltdown, non-hybrid seeds can become more valuable than silver or gold? It's true, seeds have outperformed even gold and silver before in this country, and it's possible that it could even happen again. So our friends at Solutions from Science have put together the perfect mix of non-hybrid seeds. They call it a survival seed bank, and it can produce an endless supply of nutrient-dense food for you and your family. And here's the best part. These seeds have not been genetically modified in any way, and you actually get enough seeds to plant a full acre crisis garden. So visit them today at survivalseedbank.com. That's survivalseedbank.com or give them a call at 877-327-0365. That's 877-327-0365. Remember, in a real crisis, non-hybrid seeds are the ultimate barter item. This is Alex Jones for survivalseedbank.com. Going solar for cheap is as easy as one, two, three. If you want to go solar but thought the setup costs were too high, now you can build your own solar panels for less than $200. Don't laugh. We've sold over 45,000 solar do-it-yourself kits. Watch our introduction video at 123cheapsolarvideo.com. The video is free, but it won't last long. Save money on electric bills and get off the grid. Go to 123cheapsolarvideo.com right now. Our website again is 123cheapsolarvideo.com. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, and Investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs. They've been available since 1986, yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns. Call 800-686-2237. Secure your future and call 1-800-686-2237. Calling all manufacturers from across the United States. Are you eager to have people buy your products right here at home instead of having them buy competing products made on the other side of the world? Do you want to build your business while helping boost our nation's economy at the same time? Then localmakers.com is the website for you. Our site provides an easy way for manufacturers to connect with customers within their local community as well as across the United States. From the small manufacturer who works out of their home to the large manufacturers across the U.S. Localmakers.com connects customers to the closest manufacturer by simply entering their zip code. So if you make your own goods and want to expand your market, go to localmakers.com and put your products on one of our shelves. If you're not a local manufacturer but know someone who is, take advantage of the localmakers.com referral program and earn income by getting others to join. Simply go to localmakers.com and register. There's no cost to join. That's localmakers.com. Visit localmakers.com today. Quigley, writing for Tragedy and Hope, he was commissioned by the U.S. government for high-level State Department employees to actually understand the globalist agenda so that they could carry out this operation against us. Now, the argument that the two parties should represent opposed ideas and policies, one perhaps on the right and the other on the left, is a foolish idea acceptable only to the uh, 
doctrine, and academic thinkers. Instead, the two parties should be almost identical so that the American people can throw the rascals out, in quotes, at any election without leading to any profound or extreme shifts in policy. And we're already seeing the Republicans that have gotten into office, the leadership, continuing everything. But, but so much of it is just lies. I mean, the public doesn't even understand how big corporations work. So you try to tell them, hey, insurance companies wrote the health care bill. It's a fact. The, the, the health care lobbyist head was for it. They wrote it. You tell them that, they're like, shut up. You work for the insurance companies. The oil companies, the big mega companies, wrote the carbon tax takeover because they're owned by the banks. You tell the average liberal that, they just cannot listen to you because they're brain damaged. They're brainwashed. Just like a mainline conservative. Uh, you explain to them that a big agribusiness wrote the takeover of the farms and ranches, this Food Safety Act. They won't go check that that's a fact and that big agribusiness bankrolled it. They just, liberals think big government's there to help them. Conservatives think big corporations are there to help them. They don't know big corporations created big government to give them government power to rob you. Uh, going back to Charlotte Iserby, I just want to point out, folks, that there's only 800 of these books, and I, I'm kind of shocked because uh looks like we've already sold 20% of them in the last 50 minutes. Uh, so, I, I mean, this this book's basically been pretty much out of print, and Charlotte's been selling them again on her site, uh, but now we've bought them all, and they're available discounted at Infowars.com or 888-253-3139. Every educator needs to have this. Every school board needs to be shown this. This is their internal documents. This is the smoking gun proof. This is how we bring the criminals to justice. The average person won't believe this stuff because it's so outlandish. But look at what our country's begun. I mean, look what it's turned into. No dodgeball, no chase, no hugging. It's prisoner training. Oh, yeah, it really is. And, Alex, I think that I'm so glad that you have uh, bought the remaining copies. And I would uh, recommend for uh, these these books should be going into the hands of there are good educators out there. And make sure they get into the hands of good educators and legislators who are on education committees in your state legislatures. Because, as I said, uh, it's going to be very, very difficult. And we may not win this battle. But the only way we can go right now is to try to hold on to the traditional structure of the, the school with the superintendent, the elected school board. Well, Charlotte, look what happened a year ago. And a K-12 curriculum. Let me point out, the new curriculum that's going into Maine, it's terrible. It's going to, some students will graduate at uh, 14 years old and some at 21. There will be no no grades anymore. I mean, K through twelve. No summer. No A B C D. It's all school to work. No I, summer. What? Uh, they're trying to get rid of summer education, but look how they're also in Illinois and California. Remember that case two years ago where the state announced, "We own your children. You can't homeschool." I mean, that shows their mindset. Well, yeah, and so the thing is, we've got to go all the way back, get rid of the Department of Ed in Washington, get rid of your State Department of Ed in your in your your state. Uh, once Americans understand what they're doing right now, and they're using school choice to do it, do not forget that, folks. That's the key. They're using that. It's it's the most evil uh, deceit I, in my career, ever since I went abroad and came back and went through everything I've been through, this is the most evil deceit. Well, Charlotte, I've stay there. We got a break. One minute, final segment. We're going to have you pop in again next week before you go out of town. Uh, this is so important. I want to explain to people how they are federalizing, corporatizing schools. This is GCN, the Genesis Communications Radio Network. Hello, friends. This is Alex Jones. You've heard me talk about Calbin Five Star Soaps for years. This is an American-made product of the highest quality and compares to nothing you will find in stores. You can buy factory direct, shipped via UPS right to your door. Check them out on the web at fivestarsoap.com or call 800-340-7091. Take my word for it. Once you've used pure soap, you won't buy anything else. Since 1947, Calvin Soap Company has been showing consumers that soap can be tough on dirt and gentle on the environment. Buy American and stay clean, as well as support InfoWars. Visit 5starsoap.com today or call 1-800-340-7091. Well, Marty, what do you have to say? It's fun. 
founder and owner for over 63 years, satisfaction is guaranteed on Double Your Dirt Back. Call us at 1-800-340-7091 for a free catalog or visit.